increase your rating by learning about the 7 middle game principles. Always make sure to centralize your pieces. For many reasons. For example, your knights have great squares here. You know, for example, this one can go here and here. And also your bishops. In the center, they can reach both sides of the board. The same goes for the queen. So if you centralize your pieces, then your pieces are more active and can do most for you. So always make sure to centralize your pieces. Rule number two, capture towards the center. In this position, you can see that you can capture this pawn. But which is the best capture? Here you can take with the deep pawn and you have an open file for your rook. But there is an even better move if we capture towards the center. So from the F pawn to the E file, you have extra pawn in the center, meaning you can create a huge center. So if the rook would go here, now we can push the pawn and see how much control we have over the center of the board. And this is very strong for white. And later, perhaps you can push the pawns forward and demolish your opponent. Third, avoid pawn weaknesses. So for example, in this position, when white plays the move h3, attacking the bishop, and black decides to take the knight, what is the best way to capture back the bishop? There's two options here, but first let's see what happens if you take back with the pawn. The point here is that this square is very vulnerable. For example, black can play the knight here and going here, having a lot of control over key squares of the white part of the board. And also this file be can become weak in the end. So castling short is not advised here. Instead, we can keep our pawn structure healthy and take back with the bishop. So the knight cannot go here and here now at this point. So that's a good thing. I'm Mr. X and together with my assistant Barry, well, hi, we will take you through your journey to become a better chess player. From beginner to expert level, we're here to assist you. Keep on watching and make sure to subscribe. 4. Avoid creating weak squares. So first, in order to avoid creating weak squares, we have to understand what a weak square is. And a weak square is a square where your pieces are protected by your own pawn and cannot be attacked by a pawn. So for example, this is now a weak square. The knight can come in here and there's no pawn to attack the knight. Therefore, this is a weak square. And this is very juicy for black to try to put his knight. And he does. Check. Controlling a lot of squares. See? So, try to avoid this. 5. Block pawns with a knight. Then this position. Here, white tries to open up the position in the middle of the board because it sees that the pawn in the center of the board is pinned by the rook on the queen. So it plays f4, but instead of taking, which would lose the queen, black decides to push the pawn. And now this is quite a strong pawn, controlling some key squares in white's position, and therefore white wants to block this pawn from progressing and therefore you can block it but which is the best piece to do it with you can do it with the rook the queen or the knight so let's see what happens if you block it with the rook then the knight will simply jump in and you have to move back the rook straight away the same would be true if you put the queen over here yeah you need to go back right away instead you can also decide to put the knight on this square. And the knight, as it can jump over other pieces and pawns, is a very good piece to put in front of the pawn. So, for example, in this position, you already threaten to push this pawn forward, right? So, for example, if black put his rook here, you can already push back the bishop to the side of the board blocking it out of the game. And a move like this, well, you can just trade off the pieces or simply wait and take back with the rook or the queen later on. So, 
To block a pawn, the knight is the best piece to do it. Six, double the rooks. Then in this position, black moves the queen forward. And what is the best move in this position? Yes, indeed, double the rooks. Rooks are very good at open files. This rook was already at the open file. But doubling it makes it even stronger. So at this point, black cannot move his rook here. Because then you can simply take it. And white is threatening to move into black's camp, attack the queen and the pawn. And here, black is already on the defense. So if you can, make sure to double your rooks on the open file. And then they're super strong. 7. Avoid trading off the bishops and keep the bishop pair. And last, try to avoid trading off your bishops as the bishops can control a lot of squares, especially if you have both of them on the board. So for example, after h3, in a previous example we took here, and that was the example about avoiding to have weak pawns, here we simply move our bishop back, and if white persists to kick the bishop away, we can simply move it back and now the bishop has beautiful control over the white squares here and this bishop has beautiful control over the black squares on the board and together they're mighty strong so try to keep your bishops on the board and if white castles black castles and you have a very good position over here to summarize them one centralize your pieces two capture towards the center three avoid pawn weaknesses four avoid creating weak squares 5. Block pawns with a knight. 6. Double the rooks. And last but not least, avoid trading off your bishops. Good luck in your next games. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We're out of here. Bye.